This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So guys, I've got a great mod for you today. Uh, this is a Hyzomat bioheating plant by Stevie. It has been modified to accept the new wood chip bio bales in the Anderson Group DLC. Uh, if you've got a map that has been released prior to the Anderson DLC being released. Uh, there is a pretty good chance, near certainty, that that map will not allow you to sell the bio bales because the maps from 1.3, or basically from the Anderson Group DLC forward, need to be prepared to accept the new bale type of the new bio bales. Uh, so this mod allows you to put it down on any map and be assured that it will accept the new bio bales. Uh, something else that Stevie has done is allowed the player, uh, should they so choose, to set up that this not only acts as a sell point, but also gives you some money per hour. So what I've got over here is I've got some bio bales, I've got some hay bales, and I've got some straw bales. Um, all this mod accepts all three of these bales. And I've got a load of wood chips. In the trailer here. So let's go ahead and take a look first at this thing in the shop. So if we go to placeables and then miscellaneous, you'll see the heating plant by Stevie. There is a link in the description below uh, to the Facebook post where you can download this. See it is $15 per day, except wood chips, hay, and straw. And bioheating revenue. $75,000. Let's run down here. show you basically placing it you'll see the plume and well I think it starts backwards because basically you need to rotate this around and that is the front so I don't know why when you start it up it basically faces what I would consider backwards but do note if you put it down here uh, well business end is going to be on this side okay so let's go ahead and look at this thing in the prices category. Because I have to say, I don't know if I really agree with what he's done here. So here are the two heating plants that I've put down. And you can see the price for wood chips. Oh, wowzer. So we've got a great demand at the sawmill right now for $311 for wood chips. And the bioheating plant is either $55.90 or $38.61 depending on which heating plant I put it at. That is a bit much. So he does have in the XML a price scale of 19 on this. So in a little bit, I'm going to show you how you can go in here and kind of adjust this down to really whatever you want. I mean, I think I think wood chips, um, I think bio bales specifically, uh, it's a bit extra of a process. I could see where you would want maybe a little extra money. Uh, than just standard wood chips through like a wood chipper. So I could see the price scale being double. But uh, yeah, 19, 19x, that's a bit much in my opinion. Uh, you can see also we've got the price for straw and the price for hay here, respectively. So let's go ahead and I guess let's just dump a little bit of the wood chips first off. We're not going to dump all the wood chips because what we're going to do is we're going to convert this to also give you money per hour. So we're going to dump maybe about half. So that's the particular one that pays out $5,500 right there. 11366 for a couple thousand liters of wood chips. That's good. Get a what is this a straw bale? Let's 
go. $715 for a 4,000 liter straw bale. And oh my gosh, I want just wonder. What is this? This is going to pay out what? About eleven thousand dollars for um, for this wood chip bale. Yep, eleven thousand one hundred eighty-one dollars. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save the game. We're going to shut it down, and then I'm going to show you basically what you need to do in order to switch this over to an income per hour machine. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and get rid of one of these um, because we don't need two earning me money per hour, right? All right so let's save this and uh, put it out, close on out. And let me show you. So here I've got the mod, uh, basically in my mods folder. And if you open up the zip file, if you open up the heating plant .xml, which I've got right here. Okay, so this is the heating plant .xml file. Scroll down here. There's a section that says income per hour one, two, and three. That is basically the three play difficulty levels easy, medium, and hard. So if you take these dashes, the explanation mark, and the bracket out there, and you take the bracket and the two dashes out there so that this looks like this. We're just going to line it up just nice and pretty like. So if you do this and then save the file, okay, then you're going to start getting some income per hour depending on your difficulty level. Now, if we go over here, remember I told you that the wood chips had a price scale of 19. So here we have fill type wood chips, price scale 19. Well, I think that's a bit much. I wonder if he maybe meant 1.9 as opposed to 19. Maybe, maybe that's maybe that's the case. He meant 1.9 as opposed to 19. So what I've done is I put 1.9 in there. You see the price scale for straw is one and a half. Dry grass windrow, hay, is one and a half. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this. We're going to close this. And I use 7-Zip. And what's nice about 7-Zip is I can edit these files without unzipping. It says, do you want to modify? I'm going to say yes. Oh, hold on. Let me close the game out. Let's open this up again. Make our changes real fast again. Nine. File. Yes, we want to update. Okay. So we have now updated the mod. We're going to go ahead and fire up the game. And then we're going to jump on in to the... Uh, the game like so and then we're going to basically just see if we can one still sell our product and two get some money per hour as a result also all right so here we are let's just sprint over here to our testing area all righty so the first thing we want to do is let's go to the shop placeables miscellaneous and you'll see now that this is paying me two thousand dollars an hour uh, because i have this set to <coughs> easy uh, this is my testing map if i set it to medium or normal you see it is now fifteen hundred dollars per hour if i set it to hard you'll see it is now a thousand dollars per hour okay Let's go ahead then and check our oops. Let's check our pricing. So here we are, the bioheating. You can see our pricing now reflects a change. It's no longer five thousand dollars. We're at four hundred ninety-five. And whoa, sawmills down at one hundred three. 
So we're at just under two times multiplier there. And we are at one and a half and one and a half multipliers there. So first thing I want to do is let's see if this still sells our wood chips. It should. Double barrel our wood chips. There we go, $991 a piece. Let's go sell our straw. And I guess I should sell those hay bales just to uh, demonstrate that that does indeed work. $476 for two bales of straw. These forks are handy. We can move three bales at a time. There we go. $623 for two bales of hay. And of course, you know we can sell wood chips, but we'll just go ahead and sell these loose. So, and we're going to then speed up the clock. Here we go, $974. Now let's take a look at our our money situation here. We are $89,450,504. So just a few moments, we're going to bump to 2 o'clock, and we'll see if we increase our money. Here we did. We just increased to... 89,452,504. So we are getting $2,000 per hour while at the same time being able to use this as a sell point. So there you go, guys. It is the Bioheating Plant by Stevie. You can find it over at his Facebook. And I have included a link to the description to the Facebook post in the description below. So again, the big takeaway from this is any map that was released before the Anderson Group DLC will not let you sell the bio bales until it is modified. So one way to basically do bio bales until it is patched is to put this down. Pretty much guarantee any map that you install this on uh, will be, allow you to sell bio bales at this Heizomat heating plant. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of this mod? And until next time, happy farming.